Well, it's a sad day for Ice Time Online, the final episode of season one. We talked about it last week, how they take the ice out after the season is over. That's going on behind us right now. The Riverman season has come to a close, and so this will be our final episode until September. 202 days since uh, we cranked this thing up, and it's over now. And uh, what we'd like to show everybody in this last episode of the season is how teams uh, are dismantled, and there's a process to it. We talked to Steve Castelletti, the equipment manager. We talked to the strength and fitness coach from St. Louis. We visit with various players about what they're going to do this summer and with their off season. And uh, something really special that, that fans have never seen, uh, we duck inside with uh, Mitch Love uh, for his player exit meeting with uh, general manager Kevin McDonald. After every season, all of these players sit down with not only the general manager, Kevin McDonald, with Peoria, but also the head coach, Rick Walmsley, the assistant, Drake Barahowski, and even Larry Plo stopped by, the general manager, at least for now, for the St. Louis Blues. Yeah, we caught a nice interview with him, too, and uh, what his plans are is he heads to uh, retirement from that role at the end of June. So uh, enjoy. So enough of us, a lot to talk about. The equipment sale is coming up this weekend as well, Saturday from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. right here in the Peoria Civic Center. So the equipment sale coming up. We step aside, and here's what... Uh, I lost it. Oh, cut it. Civic Center. You got a big funny voice, so they let me talk on the radio. Wake up. I'm behind him. Stand up. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Other being Martian from Mars. And my co host with. <laughs> <laughs> How did you enjoy playing here? I really enjoyed it. I was just talking to Larry, you know, between the guys in the dressing room that have been here a few years, and especially after last year having the rivalries we yeah. had, you know, we played each other, what, 15 times last year? Yeah. Seven in the playoffs, oh, man. that really cranked the rivalry yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. You know, through a few jokes during training camp from about that series, and yeah. I don't know, I, I had a blast. Like, yeah. the fans are great here. Yeah. You know, they're very passionate about their hockey. I know you were a real active part on the player's side of getting involved in the community, and we appreciated that. Yeah. What? Uh, how do you feel this year you were able to make an impact for you playing in the game? For me to play the role that I want to play, and I think that you guys want me to play, I think I'm more effective on forward. Yeah. I think D's, you just you get in a scrap or something, or you do something right. a little stupid, you're, you're putting your team in jeopardy yeah. with 5D. And yeah. When you get out there, you got to give those guys a break. Right. So you can't be sitting in a box where, yeah. you know, forward, you can, you know, that's my job. Easier to engage. Yeah, it is. It to is, your... too. I'm uh, headed back to Seattle to spend my summer. Uh, my fiance is out there right now, and I think she's getting the itch to have me back and uh, do a few jobs around the house. That, you know, I usually take a couple of weeks off. I kind of get bored of myself, and uh, I'll, I'll slowly start working out. You hope to get back here next year? That's the plan. You know, I've, I've, the coaches know where I stand, uh, Kevin and Larry know where I stand, but I mean, it's a business and everybody makes decisions, And uh, but I'd really hope to come back here. I've enjoyed myself, i enjoyed the fans here, I've enjoyed my teammates, and uh, I'd love to stay in one place for more than a year. Where, where do you go now? What are you doing next? Um, I'm going to go to the World Championships and uh, represent Denmark, and um, I'm going to spend uh, a lot of my summer here in, uh, in St. Louis training with uh, uh, following their program with Nelson, Ariette and uh, Crash. I think I've gotten better as a player and uh, I learned a lot of things. And, uh, fortunately, we, we didn't make the playoffs. It didn't go exactly as we wanted to, but there's, there's a lot of positive things that I take with me uh, from this season. I'm going home. You know, it's been a long and fun year, but now it's time to, to go home and enjoy the summer and uh, finally meet my family again. I'm going to work out, I'm going to get stronger for next year, and then I'm going to you know, have fun, hang out with my friends and family, play some golf, watch the World Championships of soccer. It's going to be awesome this summer. Are you willing to play in the American Hockey League again? What's what's your mindset? I think uh, these two years have been really good for me here in Peoria, but uh, I don't think I'll be back in Peoria. I mean, you never know, but uh, I want to play in the NHL, and uh, if that means me playing somewhere else next year, I will.
So it's the end of the year, and obviously with that, players are scattering, taking some equipment with them, heading off to train over the summer, and Steve Castelletti has the job, amongst other things, of keeping track of all these guys. What are they taking with them when they leave? Well, they pretty much take what they need to get them through uh, skating through the summer, helmet, gloves, pants, some sticks, skates, things like that, uh, so they can train on the ice and get ready for the next training camp. Well, there's a big day coming up this weekend it is the annual equipment sale. Correct. We'll have uh, at the sale, we'll have some helmets, gloves, pants, some used skates. Um, there'll be uh, some sticks, tape, things that um, most of the stuff is used, but most of it's still serviceable. And for, you know, if uh, some adults out there don't want to play men's hockey, it's a great opportunity for them. And even young kids coming up, a lot of uh, memorabilia here. What's your timetable here? How long are you going to be hanging around? I got a couple weeks of work yet, you know, once, once we get all the equipment done in the sale, we'll go through and clean everything and start ordering things for next year and repair some things that need to be repaired, and so there's always something to do. Well, we've got John Benny with us here, who's the assistant strength coach with the St. Louis Blues. He's the head guy down here for these guys working out, and just because it's the off-season for these guys, they still got work to do, don't no, they? No, absolutely not. They got a lot of work ahead of them this off-season, and uh, Nelson and I are ready to uh, put them through the ropes if they come to St. Louis to spend some time with us. The guys that, first off, are, are not coming to St. Louis, you've given them some paperwork and some yeah, activities we, to do. Uh, we give them a three-month off-season program, so it's head-to-toe, whether it's on-ice, off-ice, sprints, uh, interval training, and the complete gym workout as well. The one thing that I find interesting, and I'm sure a lot of people do as well, about a, a course of hockey season is that these guys struggle to keep weight on as opposed to yeah, lose weight, yeah. where most people are going, I want to lose weight, yeah, I want exactly. to lose weight. These yeah, guys struggle to keep it on. As much as they work and the amount of time they put on the ice, our, our biggest thing is, is maintaining their weight in season. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a drop in muscle mass because the amount of time they're on the ice. Um, that's where the supplementation and, and eating right and basically being a professional come in handy. How much weight do you expect most of these players to put on here during the summer before uh, next training camp? It just depends. Um, you know, a guy like Nick Drzanovic is probably about at 190 right now. He could easily get up to a good 205. Um, and like we said earlier, obviously that'll go down during the course of a hockey season. Get a month off, so, uh, you know, I'll be doing some fishing and some golfing and uh, getting some rest and recovery. And, you know, Nelson and I will be at the mills uh, Monday through Friday working the boys hard. All right, we're here with uh, Larry Plo. Long time GM in the NHL and uh, you're winding it down, aren't you? Yes, uh, for me it has been and uh, actually officially June 30th, but Doug Armstrong and myself, we've been transitioning for the last couple of months and we'll continue to do that over the next couple of months. And It's kind of uh, been a long stretch, 13 years, and I've, I've really enjoyed it. What's uh, your, your career moment if you had to pick one up? Well, I think when you win, it's always that's part of it. I mean, that's that's what we all play for is to try to win. So when I played, it was I was part of the Montreal team when they won in '71. We won the World uh, Hockey Championship, uh, the World Hockey when they established themselves. I think it was '72, and then won again in management with the Rangers. So I think when you win, uh, I think probably the biggest disappointment is coming to St. Louis and, and not winning the Stanley Cup. And we basically came out of the lockout almost like an expansion team. But the difference between us and the expansion team in the last four years, we haven't had those bottom picks like we had one overall and we had a four overall. But after that, we've been well above, above 10. Usually an expansion team, you, you're getting those top five, top six picks for five, six years in a row. Our team is in a, in a direction that there's going to be a lot more success coming in the next couple of years. We've got some good young players down here that we like. So uh, I, I think we're, we're where we want to be this year. We're not happy with not being in the playoffs. Uh, we feel we're as good as some of those teams in the playoffs, but you know, we had a tough stretch at home for about 12 games and that cost us. What are you going to do now? What, what's next for you? <laughs> You know, we're going to be in St. Louis for at least probably uh, half a year to maybe three quarters of a year. Um, we'll, we'll see what, what happens from there. Uh, I'd like to stay in hockey still a little bit. Uh, I, I really, with my wife, I don't have really that time to do a full-time general manager job because that's, as you know, it's like your job. It's 24 hours a day and it's, uh, you know, in the, with my wife's medical right now, we'll stay in St. Louis for a while and we'll head back east for sure, somewhere along the way here. It's Larry Plow. Uh, congrats on a great career, sir. It's Thank been a you. pleasure. Thank you.